chat. Not enough bit rate for the resolution and frame rate. That's what I was asking about earlier because I set this up based on all the recommendations for streaming from before. And when people were telling me it's all right, then I can't fix it, but yes. So now it's at 6,000 for all the people who are having a problem. The issue is that if the bit rate here is sending it out and some people are seeing it just fine and some people aren't, I didn't know you said that before. No, no, it's fine. I was asking because if I'm sending it out and it looks fine here with what I'm sending out and there are people half the people, most of the people are telling me, oh, it looks fine at 1080 on my screen. And then somebody else is saying, it doesn't look good here, it's all pixelated. Well, to me, that doesn't make sense that it would be on my end, that what I'm sending to Twitch is getting through perfectly for some people and not for others. But now I've kicked it up to 6,000. We'll see how it goes. So for the people who were suggesting that it was on my end, evidently you're right. And yet it still doesn't make sense because if what I'm sending out is good for five people and bad for one, I don't know how changing something on my end fixes it, but uh, I'm glad it's fixed. That's all I was asking is the whole time. Video compression, dark region, still pixelated. Six case your cap for Twitch, so this is as good as it gets, and it looks fine. Okay. I had it up here before, and something was going wrong with a stream, I don't know, a year ago, and people were like, oh, you need to turn that down to 2,500 for blah, blah, blah. But I would like for it to look as good as possible. So thank you for the correction and the fix, and now we should be good. The reason is that when you weren't actively playing, your earlier bitrate was enough to encode the data and the people were seeing a good quality image. The others who were seeing pixels, like we're talking about the experience when you're moving around. As long as we got it fixed, that's all I was trying to do from the get-go. I appreciate the feedback and the help in getting it fixed. Oh, this is the beacon. I'm like, what's happening? Oh, it's the fucking beacon. <laughs> the whole reason, the whole reason I've been playing this game for uh, I don't know, no, however long we've been here. This is amazing. Immediate actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Yeah, I've got HDR monitors, so it's should be running HDR here, and that may not translate. I could turn that off. 
got a Distinguished Service Medal. I genuinely have no idea what the hell's going on, though. We identified the ship that touched down. Totally just stole the guy's chance to be the main character, but I saved him. That's that's true. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. That's Marina Sirtis. One of the humans may have used it. All right, so I've recognized Seth Green's voice and Marina Sirtis' voice. coming for me by the way anybody who I, I i have known people who never want to know who's doing the voices in video games and animated stuff uh, apologies if i ruined Doctor, that for somebody Dr. but Chocolate. i like being able to I detect it up. you can do bang rig to find out what gpu i've got there seeker but ship. it's dual 2080 supers How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of you, Lieutenant. You endangered the entire mission. Don't be so hard on him, Commander. I'll we be as no hard on him as I want. Actually set it off. You gave me the choice. Fortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. Hey, I've played I this. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. So, I've played Subnautica below zero, uh, and I'm, I'm now wondering if the background here isn't similar. I saw, I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may, oh, Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. I, I recognize the captain's voice. I just I can't remember captain. his name. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I'll live. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invaded. The council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. We probably Other are. Think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. vision. A vision? Mm. A vision oh. of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. Culturally, Rick and Morty is way more important than the thing. You are crazy high.
What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. I think my that favorite easy. quote about Rick he and Morty is, is that he can go anywhere. Do if you really like Rick and Morty, you're cool. We need the council on and if side. you say Rick and Morty is your favorite show, you're scary. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. I haven't spent any time watching Rick and Morty, but what little I've seen of it, I like it. And I would like to watch it and, and catch up. But my interactions made that quote extra funny for me because people who come to me and they're like, Hey, you should watch Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty's good. Um, there are people I tend to like and get along with. And for people who are like, oh my God, Rick and Morty's the best thing ever. It's my favorite show ever. Those people terrify me. I'm just in, in the other things that they say. Not saying it's, it's a universal truth, but. Uh, and I see Matt change things up in the gaming department. I can definitely watch this one. Well, that's good, because now we're going to stop and play GeoGuessr. I'm kidding going to keep going. I'm not fully sure I understand yet because I'm just kind of half-assing this. And I think that uh, probably, I mean, it, it's kind of handholdy in the sense that there's nothing in here to do. And if there were something in here to do, I'd have a blue circle around it. So... Hang on. Let's try this. So I've got an Assault Rider to Avenger 1. Damage per second. So 124, 23. This is less accurate. I'm just going to Omni Gel that. Is the dark image due to the HDR? I genuinely don't know. I can turn off HDR and see what you guys think. Uh, 83, 150, Omni Joe. Let me finish clearing, clearing this up. So I have 13, 10 coins. I, so I wish it would like on hover, tell me what the hell these things are at the bottom. Uh, clearly this is going to be health. Maybe those are grenades. I don't know. Uh, but if I go to options, graphics, um, I never saw most of the review sync frame rate. Oh, it's not there. It's under calibration. So I can turn off enable HDR. Now, one thing I will say is that I have a filter on the on the game, I think, that is uh, let's see.
Yeah, so I have a color correction filter on this from when I was playing Isaac. That's what it looks like normally. How's that? Because I intentionally lightened it uh, for Curse of Darkness. So that's no HDR, no filters at all. Well, I know it's dark, but is it... I mean, it, 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 it's accurate. I'm not adding any filters to it. If, you, if it's too dark to see, then I can turn on that, and all I've done there is um, adjust the, the gamma and brightness just a little bit. So, yeah, if that's better for you guys, that's perfect. Fine. Cool. Then, just for reference, just in case you run across other streamers or dark, if they're running in Streamlabs or whatever, I what I've done here is all I've done is a filter on the screen capture and adjusted the brightness and gamma just a little bit. Uh, so, all right. Continuing on. I have no idea what's going on here. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Thank you. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew. Ah. I'm glad we didn't lose you too. I need to go see Joker. Sure thing, Commander. Where are you at, Seth? Where are you at? Oh, I can't talk to these two. And gosh, she looks a lot like me. That's not Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Uptime's wrong, Dargendorp. I played for a couple hours, but had to reset it to reset the bitrate. Citadel Control, this is SS Blue Normandy, requesting a trip to the land. Sandbox for clearance, Normandy. Music seems a lot louder than the dialogue. Oh, you're the cuck. Oh, hi, Sub-24. How you doing? Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. How's, how's life? Aw, oh, damn it. I didn't even get to give him the attention that he so desperately wanted. Wow, that was a weird double cut right there. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. 
We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Yeah. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. That call from yesterday, I have a hard time believing because things like that almost never happen. I hope that it was real. That's I'm why I hate politicians. glad that it happened. Hopefully it benefits somebody else. I have no way of telling whether or not what, how much of that call was real or, or if any of it was real. I have to just go with what people tell me because I can't read minds. Um, all right. I'm going to make a couple of adjustments. First thing we're going to change is the sound. I'm going to take the uh, music down a bit further. I think she was just like, if it was real, then it makes sense because she was just scared and confused and then talking to her sorted it out. But that's not the kind of thing that normally happens in the course of a call like that. So. Yeah. If she just said, oh, I'm an atheist now, thanks, then I would have been more dubious. And even if it were real and somebody did that, uh, I like to point out, and by the way, for anybody who doesn't know, go back and watch Atheist Experience from yesterday because we're talking about a call that came in, the second call, by the way. Um, but I would be, like, people are like, oh, you know, Matt wants to change people's minds. Yes, I'd love to. I'd love for the whole world to be rational. Um, but when... It, when I see someone who changes their mind that quickly and easily, I worry that what they're really doing is just going with the last thing that they found mildly convincing and that they're going to do this float from thing to thing. And as soon as they go talk to somebody else, then they're going to change their mind again and again. And I want to give people better tools. So I'm not presuming she's an atheist or she's done or anything like that. You think that religion is part of your cultural identity and background and that removing it is a form of cultural genocide, suicide? No. First of all, I don't give a flying fuck about culture. Uh, I, I get it. I know some people who are. When I hear claims of cultural appropriation, most of the time, I don't give a shit. I've seen people claim cultural appropriation for combining different types of food. Uh, my ex-wife had a a Mexican dress that she bought from a Mexican woman at a fair in San Antonio. And then when she wore it in a picture, somebody accused her of culturally appropriating Mexican culture. And I'm like, no, no, that's not how that works. If, if you don't want white people wearing your dress, then you don't sell it to them at a, you know, at a fair. Uh, that was, that was bizarre. Nobody has a, a market on a particular culture. Um, I'm not going to knock people for what they do with, you know, their clothes, their hair, their whatever else. But also, to me, the only problem is that if you are setting up, a, a mocking a culture or mocking a, making a stereotype out of something uh, in order to disparage people. But, you know, it's like, that, oh, she wore something Asian and she's white. Well, then the Asian folks shouldn't have sold it to her because that's where it primarily comes from. But I... I don't have any real ties to my heritage. My family were French Huguenots who escaped religious persecution and went to Ireland and then came to the United States in the 17th century. 
Um, one of them was formed one of the first three churches that became the Southern Baptist Convention. I'm not beholden to any of the people in my past. Um, I, I get it. I know people like in the Appalachian Mountains and they have a particular culture there. My ex-wife was particularly fond of, of that culture and they worry that it's gonna go away. And my take on it is pretty much, if it's a value, people will maintain it. And if it's not a loss that, you know, hey, you can go to Silver Dollar City and you can still see a blacksmith, but you're not gonna see the average blacksmith in town making shoes for horses uh, in the way that you would have 150 years ago. But. Also find most of the time people claiming cultural appropriation are, are people not even from the culture. They're, yeah, it, there's a lot of that. I don't want to be too dismissive of it because there are probably some problems with it as well, but I certainly don't think that eliminating Christianity uh, or, or any religion um, is, a, is a cultural suicide type thing. Um, because these are ideas, and if the ideas don't have sufficient evidence, we shouldn't maintain them. I'm an atheist who's pro-Christianity in terms of having it be a fringe social force that has no real power. I'm not. A secular religion, if you will. That's not what Christianity can be. You want to reinvent Christianity, but I don't know why. I think the reason why it should be that such a part of your cultural identity is a person who is a Christian or used to be a pagan, that being aware of your tradition is good. I don't agree. I don't need to maintain bad parts of my culture and my heritage just so that I can be reminded of my culture and my heritage. I don't want to live in the past. And so Christianity, for what it is, is a disgusting, immoral, irrational religion. What, what should we keep out of it? I certainly don't need to keep something out of it just to remind me of how bad it was. No, we're not... We're not committing identity suicide because it's not my identity. Christianity is many things. I disagree with your absolutistic and simplistic painting depiction of Christianity. Plenty of Christians out there practice privately and don't force their religion on anybody. And they don't have a leg to stand on. And you're wrong because every belief that you have informs the actions you take. And if you believe that Jesus is God and Jesus doesn't want people to have abortions, that's going to dictate what sort of voting you do. If you believe that the Bible is the word of God, that dictates what sort of voting you're going to do. The people that you want to point to out there who are Christians who private practically and don't impact anybody with their beliefs, uh, they're not recognizable as Christians. They are somebody who's made up their own version of Christianity. Again, you keep using debate lord arguing tactics. I am the debate lord. Get used to it which are based around false equivalency, lack of nuance, and forcing of definition categories. No, there's no false equivalency. There's, I, I'm not interested particularly in nuance. Um, you're making a case for something. So if you want to accuse me of a false equivalency, state what my false equivalency is and defend that accusation. With your logic and debate lord tactics, I can conflate you with... I can conflate you speeding with murder because both are crimes and both are crimes, crimes are crimes. No, that's absolutely ridiculous. It's not my position. Uh, it has nothing to do with anything. Um, if you're going to make accusations against me, you damn well better be able to defend them. So make a case and defend it. Because so far... You're just calling names and saying that I'm oversimplifying. When I'm the only one in this entire conversation that has demonstrated any expertise in atheism, in epistemology, in Christianity, you haven't demonstrated anything other than that you can talk smack. So what's, what's the case? Do I read fantasy books? Sometimes. I've, I've, I've read a lot of them. I'm not reading any right now. I would love for there to be a sound alert. I am the debate lord. I am the end boss of atheism. I, get, I hear that all the time, and everybody acts like it's the case. So Nut1044, who's posted 10 messages in here, starting with, do you think religion is part of your cultural identity? No, not in any significant sense. Do I think that removing it is a form of cultural genocide, suicide? No. So I disagreed with you, and now you're just saying uh, my debate lord tactics are fallacious. Well, you have about a minute or so to type in 
a defense of your accusations against me, or you can just go away and I'll go back to playing games. It isn't. Example of your false equivocation. You made two. First, you said, all beliefs inform your actions. This is not true. Yes, it absolutely is, and I'll get to that in a second. Everything that you believe means your brain is convinced of something, and people always act in accordance with those actions. What you can have is multiple beliefs that are in conflict so that one of them overrides. But if you are convinced of something, it has the potential to inform an action. And the process that you went through to become convinced of it can lead you to becoming convinced of other things. So if you're convinced of things that are false, the methodology, the heuristic in your brain that led you to that false conclusion can lead you to other false conclusions. There are people in religious group or parts of society that are religious that are very zealous and some which aren't. I don't care about their zealotry. I care about their accuracy. You saying that any belief in form your actions is basically a way for you to conflate the secular non-aggressive. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with religion. Every fucking belief, everything that you are convinced of has the potential to impact your actions. Second false equivalence you made earlier in the conversation, something about cultural identity and it's not your identity. Yes, I don't think that Christianity is a significant part of my identity now. And that's not a false equivalence. You don't know what the fuck false equivalence is, is the problem. But when I say beliefs inform actions and actions have consequences, that's just a fact. Not, yeah, I would never say every belief informs every action. That's ridiculous because what I believe about the earth being round isn't going to inform my action on, in any significant way of what to have for lunch. The problem is, is that your brain is a processing unit and you have heuristics. And if you reach a wrong conclusion, the methodology that led you there can potentially inform other wrong conclusions and that wrong conclusion will inform what you do. People always, always, always act in accordance with what they believe. Again, I disagree with your very reductionist and absolutist, not nuanced thinking. Well, you can keep tossing out words and making it think that making it seem that you know what you're talking about, but just saying I'm reductionist and absolutist doesn't make it true. You're a person who's debated a lot. And as a person who's debated a lot, you like to pigeonhole things into very specific precise categories. If you don't stop making this about me and actually start making about the arguments, you will be banned. That's just a fact. You can use existing arguments you know on them and you have accompanying tactics that allow you to... So basically, let me make this clear, Net 1044. You are accusing me of arguing dishonestly, right? That's what you're saying. That I will only address things so that I can use pet arguments. I'm not interested in an actual honest conversation. That's what you're saying. Yes or no? Again, my point, no offense. Fuck your offense, answer my goddamn question still stands because one religion is a part of your cultural identity and getting rid of it and villainizing is a type of cultural gen genocide suicide. No, you asserting that that's the case doesn't mean that it's true. You have to actually present evidence for it. There are a number of religions that contributed to my identity because I've studied many religions. Eliminating those religions from being practiced and accepted doesn't eliminate them from my identity and doesn't in, isn't in any way a sort of cultural suicide for me. Secular private religion is kind of thing. Religion is very much fine and won't create the next crusade. I'm not only concerned about crusades, you dishonest arguing fuck. It's not just crusades that are bad. You know what else is bad? Telling people they were born wrong. Telling people it's wrong for them to be gay. Telling people that they're going to be going to hell afterwards. You don't need crusades to be doing active harm with bad ideas. Now answer the question that I asked you a minute ago or you're fucking gone.
I don't have to present evidence for it. So now you're going to, you're going real big picture and making conversations about assertions and argument structures. Me asserting something doesn't make something true, but it also doesn't make it not true. Correct, jackass, and now you're banned. Goodbye, you'll never be welcome here again. I'm sorry about your fucking broken brain and the fact that you cannot argue honestly while accusing me of arguing dishonestly. You are monumentally wrong. Beliefs inform our actions. Get fucked. Goodbye. I don't have to present evidence. I can just come in. You're making assertions. You're making assertions. I don't have to present any evidence. Ah, all right. Uh, back to the game. Hey, thanks for Twitch Prime subscription. Perfect timing. Yeah, Nut was probably a troll that's been in here before under other names. Uh, one thing I'd like to do, I really wanted to see when that account was created, but I can't do that now. Whoops. We need more shooting and less talking. How about you don't tell me what the fuck to do on my fucking stream? Learn to read the room there, spills out. How about I talk as much as I fucking want to on my stream? How about you're the next one to be banned? It's created on May 7th, 2021. Nice. Okay. Just learn, learn to read the room. All right, so I have a team, and I don't even really know who this team is. So let's, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I wanted to do. Why has everybody got their weapons out? Uh, da, 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 da. What did you miss? Nice timing, Domo Como. Uh, you missed somebody coming in to tell me that eliminating religion is cultural genocide or cultural suicide, and that I'm just uh, all full of fallacies, and I don't argue honestly. I'm just reductionist and absolutist, and I don't understand nuance, uh, and that they don't have to provide any evidence for what they claim, and so I banned them. Do you think humanity will ever come together as a species like in Star Trek? Oh, I doubt it. Uh-oh, the Adobe GC client thing is now popping. Ever since this last window update, there's some DLL um, that... Uh, that is an error. There's a hype train, level one complete. Thanks so much for the donation of bits and everything else. How can you say Matt doesn't understand nuance with a straight face? Come on, people. It's all right. So I'm confused. I don't, I don't really know everything here. So let's go. So here's my squad. I have me. Um, I Oh, I have six points. Oh God, I have no idea what to spend them on. That's the thing. Seth Rogen said in an interview that Jewish camp is set to get Jews to meet together so they can fucking make more Jews. Wow, there's more bits. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Just wanted to brag a little since no one I'm heading out to meet will give half shit. Just found the void for the first time and beat delirium. Super fun and goddamn I have void tears. Nice. I need, I, I still need to do some unlocks. Um, I don't think I want to spend my points right now just because I don't necessarily know what to spend them on. Um, I really want to pump this guy up on first aid. And that. And let's go. that for them you can't even play video games with them bothering nonsense no i invited i'm happy to have conversations with people here but if you're going to just come in and say don't you think that uh destroying or 
eliminating religion is cultural genocide or cultural suicide. And my response was not for any part of culture that I give a shit about. Uh, I, I don't mourn the loss of the people who believed in Thor, even the ones that still do. They're, I have actually have a friend who's literally believes in an actual Thor. But, um, I'm going to stay away from pistols. I should bump up my sniper rifle since I'm actually using it. Why is it not? I can't, I guess I, because I picked infiltrator. Well, infiltrators want to attack from a distance, which is why I did that. So I don't know why it won't let me increase sniper rifle. Anybody, anybody know why I can't increase sniper rifle? You need to up pistols first. But, but I don't use the pistols. Okay. Okay, I don't know how high to get it. The pistol, the dot to unlock sniper. Thank you. So I guess even though I'm not using pistol, I'll put points in it. Maybe I'll use pistol for a while. Um, electronics. Just bump up decryption. Sure. What the hell? All right, hard to believe someone who believes in Thor would be Matt's friend and keep believing. Well, not everybody's a skeptic. All right. Let me... Um, I'm going to go for the pistol since I just amped it up. Put you all on pistols. Actually, we're going to leave you on assault rifle. I really want to get him to where he's like the medic, I think. Maybe it, maybe it's a mistake. I don't know. Um, Oh, I got a hype train emote to share, but I got an alt tab for that. All right. Hey, there's no jump, which means I can't just jump over there to that area. That's one good way to make sure that you can box people into an incredibly linear map. Oh, we don't have to worry about them getting anywhere they can't go if they can't jump. I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. I can This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. Thanks for the tier one sub, GJ Spellfire. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Please, greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Goodbye, Ambassador. 
Sincere farewell. Hello Sincere there, farewell. human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted. By Sorry to interrupt. Go back. Thanks to you, human. Good day. Why can't I talk to this guy? It looks like he would be interesting. Or she, or they. All right. Oh, I don't know my journal. Investigate the system. Go to Hydra system in the Argus Row cluster and investigate. All right. There we go. Ah, Ace Ten Two Three Four. I didn't even see that there was a message. It's kind of disappointing that I don't get to see some of the trolls because some of them, like, they amuse me a little bit. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Okay. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Ace 10234's name is... When was the Ace account created? Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower. It's pretty straightforward so far. To discuss matters of interstellar importance. So, possibly not the other, not the same person. Far in this, you can see Citadel Tower Councilman. Okay. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel. The, the most recently added embassy belongs to your own. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Okay, so that goes to the Academy. That goes to the Citadel Tower. Hey, it's asked why I'm playing a girl. Why not? Found Joe's podcast in 2011. He said a lot of stupid stuff for the years, 10 years or so back. He was the one that made me realize the importance of trans acceptance. Joe Rogan is a transphobe who intentionally misgenders people repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, you're probably not going to find a whole lot of Joe Rogan fans here. But. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. What's written on my shirt today? I want to believe as many true things and as few false things as possible. You didn't vote. Rogan tried to convince people not to get vaccinated recently. Yes, and I called him out for it on the show, and a couple of days later, he acknowledged that he was being an idiot. A dangerous idiot. Rogan's not particularly bright or knowledgeable. He just puts people on his show, doesn't particularly challenge bad ideas, gives them a platform, and then, you know, smokes a bowl. Good for him. (laughs) 
Yeah, he did. He did point out that you know. He said he was being an idiot and not to listen to him on health stuff, and I'm like, okay, but you know. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Yeah, modern day debates has done similar. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. I admit he's wrong on one thing. He didn't uh, admit he was wrong on the other things. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Why, why is my quest to go to the council? My assignment is to go to the Hydra system. Gonna sit here and s stare at that. Cool. How do you think we can and should do to stop bad ideas and misinformation from spreading? The only thing you can do: talk about them, point it out, offer corrections. When Rogan says something stupid, I'm gonna take him to task on my show and hope that it gets around to him and he fixes it. Let's see. The hearing's already started. Come on. Okay. So evidently there was a bit of discussion that I glanced over. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon, then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned.
It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. How about we ban trolls exactly when we decide to ban trolls, Cyber Exile? And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as he misspelled Tuskegee, I was like, well, this is not going to go well. But, oh, why is it wrong to... To be opposed to vaccination. Well, um, uh, especially when we know one of them went wrong. Here you go. Uh, the fact that one something, which, by the way, this wasn't vaccination anyway, but the fact that one something went wrong doesn't mean that others do. And so what you should rely on is the evidence. And all of the evidence shows that the various vaccines that we have, um, we know the efficacy rate for them. We know about Moderna and Pfizer and Johnson and Johnson. Uh, so much so that SNL made a joke about, you know, people with the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines are doing good and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is, well, it's, it's trying. Um, it's funny stuff, but um, I didn't model Shep Heard at all, Poison and Daggers. I just went with whatever the default was with this custom female. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have I don't know what I question you're asking, Evil As905, as this is my first ever playthrough. So I don't know what that means, and let's not spoil the fucking game. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. All right, I think, think I'm going to stop here. Uh, I'm not, not ending the stream, but I'm going to stop here because I want to, I may have to go back through some of this and get a feel for it so that I know where I'm going story-wise to try to make some decisions, but uh, I've got, I'm going to need to eat and other stuff while we've got the stream working a little bit. Let me pop back. What the hell was that? Hey, been the game freaking out when you closed it. I don't know why it's so upset. I didn't do anything wrong. What do you think about both sides' arguments? I, I need something more specific to understand exactly what you're asking.
So I'd say that question has merit. That's the thing. There, there are uh, circumstances and uh, positions where I think both sides uh, have merit, where we, where we haven't the ability yet to reach a, a proper understanding of the, of the whole thing. But I genuinely don't know the specifics of what somebody's asking about until they tell me. I'm going to hop out of here for now. Have fun with the rest of the stream. Thanks, Miss Piss- Pill- Miss Pillix. Sorry. Feel free to discuss the crisis in Israel. Palestine, but choose your words wisely. No snark. Yeah. We're going to do a diverse world. Five minutes. Uh, moving, panning, zooming aloud. And then I'm going to go eat. Hope you don't ban me for saying both sides are being dicks. All right, we are in the middle of somewhere. It looks a lot like the middle of nowhere. S622. These little mesas. I don't think it's Jordan. Yes, chat's allowed to help out. You can try to convince me uh, uh, that you know where we are, but just don't cheat and go Google up an area code or something. So right now, this feels, this does not feel like Texas. It's, it's south of Texas. This feels South American. Argentina. Could be somewhere in Africa, but I think it's actually like Argentina. I think I'm hearing thunder outside. <laughs> I think it may be pouring rain outside. Hang on, let me check my weather thing. Because going to the... Yes, it's pouring rain. <laughs> there you go. Uh, also, let me take my earbuds out now that we're not doing a game that requires a lot of audio stuff. Storm threat today in Oklahoma and Texas. Well, it's no longer a threat. It's actually a storm. Um, just in case. You don't have windows in the room? Yeah, there's a window right there, but there's a light and sound covering curtain on it so that it doesn't interfere with the light in here. I could also walk over there into that closet, which has a window, and look outside of it, but it was just easier to pick up my phone. I don't have windows that that are uncovered. Uh, the house needs to be dark so there's not glare on the screens and so that I can control the color temperature. All of these are set to 5,600 Kelvin, which makes it easier just to do proper white balancing. It does seem to be a, a really story heavy game. Uh, I don't know how much action there is. I, I think I get it. It's kind of easing me into it slowly and that's good because I don't even know where to spend my points. Um, and so we're just going to play and enjoy it. But I'm not ending the game. I'm just taking a break from it. Man, this is... Um, I think this might be one of the most remote places I've ever been dropped. I mean, we could be in Australia, but I don't, I don't see those hills right. I think, uh, I think we're in, you know, out here. Uh, 
in a conversation with younger creationists who actually deny dinosaurs existed. A friend of mine thinks it's a hoax by Hollywood scientists. I don't know that I've ever actually had a conversation with one of them directly. I've never had that conversation directly. I can't tell you if I talked to somebody who might believe that. Uh, I met someone with a PhD in phys- physics who believes in miracles and made the absolutely obviously fallacious. Now, see, this makes me think we're in Africa. But no, 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 no. I'm sticking with I'm sticking with Argentina. And we were in South Africa, so I couldn't really have been much more wrong. Right when I say something that says, hey, I think we're in Africa, I stuck with my old one. Uh, driving on the right. We are not in the United States. We have Cyrillic writing. Could be Russia, could be I'm not even going to try. This game's already kind of wrong. But oh, we were in the Ukraine. Uh, if the stream goes down, it's because of this thunderstorm. Dysic? Poland? Bracken? So we German? Deutsch tractor. And yet it says bus. Center 2000. Yellow with Euro, and that means I I saw one yesterday where it was yellow with Euro. I just can't remember where it was. There's too much world. Netherlands are yellow. Brandenburg. Why am I not finding it? Shod, Brandenburg. Not Netherlands. Where do you think it is, Craft Seismo? Don't do it. I've already dropped. But I've got a minute 55 left. Where do you think it is? More Belgium. Well, that's usually my first guess here, but 
We'll drop there and we'll be close. We were actually in Luxembourg again. That's where I was when I saw the yellow thing and it was dot LU and I thought it was Lithuania, but it was actually Luxembourg. Damn it. Yep. All right. Now I'm going to remember LU Luxembourg and the yellow plates. This can be a bad round a really bad round. Where are we at? Boxo, Nasu Soto, Nasu, Warren Fajar. Um, do, do, do. Kodai Etam. So that is Indonesia. Malaysia, Indonesia. Pretty sure we're in Indonesia. Mara Wahai, Wahau, Tanjung Redeb, Dorkongbin. Kongbyong. And it's Wow, the thunder's really getting bad. I'm going to end the stream here after this game is over, probably. You heard the thunder? I love it. I love the sound of it. I just don't want it to hurt. You know, I don't want the lightning to hurt anything. Um, yeah, I could turn it up where you guys could hear it a little bit later, better, but. I could be really wrong. But Tang, this is this is definitely Malaysia. It's just a matter of where. I'm gonna drop out here. Yeah, three hundred and thirty eight miles away. I don't care that much about this round, so just check in and see if you're as disappointed in Biden and Yang's horrendous takes in the Palestine-Israel conflict as I am. What's your opinion on the both sides argument? Um, I, I don't know what Biden's done about the Palestine-Israel thing. I haven't kept up with it all. I am no fan of Israel and Israel's uh, I did watch John Oliver last night and I have difficulty finding a reason to disagree with him. Gallipoli, Rivabella. Is this like somewhere down in this vicinity? Italy, Sicily, Malta, something. But it doesn't show me the name of the road though, and that's annoying. Biden just sold a nearly a billion dollars worth of weapons to Israel today. Isn't Israel already outgunning Hamas, I don't know, a million to one?
Dr. Salvaggio. Wow, it's really bad outside. I've been to Brindisi. Something real. We're down here. Lido, Dr. Shigley. There we go, Santa Maria Albonia. So that is, and Lido is straight north. So we're down here ish. So there's Lido, Concigli, and Santa Maria Albano, Porto Salvin, Salvaggio. But that's a right and that's straight. So that should be it doesn't make sense that mostly north would be that a right turn. Say out here, maybe 1400 yards. Okay. Yeah, it was a terrible round. Let me go look out the window. Yep, it's really bad out there. The thunder is near constant now. So, here's what I'm going to do. Change this filter. Get rid of the crop pad. I'm going to play like one quick game of chess, so don't worry about challenging, but I just kind of do it for me. Against a rando, and then we're going to go have lunch. Checkmate. Well, okay, that was easy. I'll do another one. If there's somebody who really wanted to challenge me, speak up. Because uh, I'll do, like, quick games, like one- or three-minute games only. Um, 
I'm not very good. Well, Melichorik will probably beat me, so that's fun. Um, Okay.
Yeah, I think that's it. Good game. Trying to ask you something, but does at wrongly. I, well, I'm in the middle of the game, so I can't focus on anything. So let's see. I'm married eight years tomorrow. Could you say happy anniversary? Uh, and I'm so sorry for you, Lenore, so I can show it to her for giggles. Happy anniversary, Lenore, and I am so sorry for you. I got to get my cameo set up, so I stopped doing that shit for free. Crap shit, fuck, God damn it! We had a bunch of spaghetti sauce left over and wanted to make lasagna, and the fucking sauce spoiled overnight. Very miffed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Getting a good sauce is... That's nice. I had to throw out a steak, actually, that I left in the fridge too long. Sure thing, Graf Seasmall. All right, I'm going to do one more. Shit. Well, if you're going to give me checkmate instead of taking my queen, I guess I'm going to take it. Do you have strategies in mind while playing or just do it move by move? I always start the same way. Um, there's a challenge from Zatrix who's going to beat me up a little bit. Oh, it's a two-minute game. That was bad, but bad, but not the worstest thing, I guess.
such an idiot. Oh my god, yeah, I moved right into that. That was stupid. Good game. Seems on my stream your audio is out of sync. Not sure if I'm the only one. Test. There is, I think there's a slight out of sync. Hard to say. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm seeing it here too. I'm not quite sure why. No idea. I'm seeing it. I, there's just nothing. I don't know what to do about it. I mean, I can't even imagine what that would be. There's been no frame drop, no nothing. Well, I'm not hearing the audio back, so I don't know for sure there's a desync. I'm just saying there's clearly a delay here. And there's some videos stutter, which is weird because... Refresh your Twitch page. I don't have a Twitch page open. Anyway, we're ending the stream. That'll refresh everything later. Test. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. And there's nothing that should cause a delay because... The cameras going through an A10 Mini Pro ISO. Um, it's just a software thing, probably. Anyway, y'all take care. I'm going to go eat. I'll talk to y'all later.